Welcome back, everybody. This is the Redhead Gamer, and I'm kicking the crap out of this corridor. Anyway, it just got dusted, so we're gonna make our way down the street and hopefully not die. I always enjoy not dying, don't you? It makes you feel like you're about to not die. That's a wonderful feeling, ain't it? So let's beat the crap out of this Bruja here before he decides to, you know, kill us. And we dusted him as well. And instead of fighting that vampire in front of the thing here, I'm just gonna go into this alleyway and jump through the bar I broke earlier, like a long time ago, <laughs> and make my way through here. Around this corner there's somebody with a shotgun and they have presence it seems. Yeah, I think it's presence. And they also have fortitude on, which is always fun. Not fortitude, but celerity. I mean, that's always fun, ain't it? Super fast vampires with the ability to shoot shotguns at an amazing rates and get out of your range. That's always a fun thing. So let's get out of here, back up a bit so we don't get pwned, and heal up a bit so we don't die. Pop phobia. Kill this Bruja and then kill this Torador before he gets up and pwns us. Oh, come on, I should have hit him while they were on the ground, but whatever. So they get up and they, you know, shoot one shotgun shell into our chest again. And I'm close to dying here, and I really don't feel like dying. And there's somebody in front of the asylum here, but I think I could easily sneak past them. Yeah, I should be able to sneak past them pretty easily. Just got hugged to the wall here, and it's probably not a wise idea to have presents on, I bet. But oh well. Go around this corner here, and yeah, we got past them pretty good. We should be good now. And as you can see up here, there's a gangrel right next to the cab. So we're just gonna run over there and fight him. He has fortitude on, so he's able to take some damage. And we're getting shot, and uh, there's blood on the ground. And oh, a Nosferatu, which had, what do you call it, obfuscate on, that's why I didn't see anybody. Pick up the shotgun and, hi there, cab driver, get me the hell out of here, bro. Like, oh, what do you mean I'm in combat? Come on now. I killed them both. Okay, now here we go. Yeah, just get me out of here. Get me the hell out of Santa Monica. <laughs> I don't care, bro. Just get me out of here. You know what I mean? Seriously. Now is not the time to be asking questions. Did you not just see the two people who attacked me? This isn't even cool, bro. New dialogue options will appear if the persuasion fee is high enough. Really now, good sir. I haven't noticed that, actually. <laughs> not really. That's a joke. Having a hell of a night, let me tell you. The night has not been kind to you. It wasn't for Jack. Say, you know anything about Jack? I only recently made the acquaintance of Mr. Jack. He intrigues me very much. There are so few like him these nights, I think. But then, I only know what I hear from others about the kindred of the city. It sounds as if there are many who seek to sway the children of Cain to their side. Many who believe they shape the destiny of the blood. You work for Prince LaCroix, don't you? I'm through with LaCroix. I should have backed Nines when he saved me. The Anarchs, curious experiment. But they have lost many battles and more leaders. Their rebellion has already failed. Damn straight I do. As long as a few believe, it'll remain a possibility. To this city. Be long before... Absolutely. I wouldn't have it any other way. Really? I'd like to meet this person. I know where you might find them, but you would have to be ready to commit to the Anox fight. No, the free state must continue to exist. Take me to this contact. If you share the Anox passion and would share the burden of such a fire, we will go. If they're anything like nines, we'll kick LaCroix and Ming out That's by sun up. Yeah. This isn't, you know, obvious who the leader is. I mean, it's obviously not, I don't know, nines. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, spoiler. See you, brother. Too late, though. You too, Skelter. Is nines here? You under anarch protection. Is nines here? Motherfucker's still in some tall. It's true, I gave one the beatdown, too. <laughs> Whatever. And the Pope's my ghoul. Thanks, Skelter, even though you called me a lick earlier, even though I've pwned more people than you could possibly ever dream of, you stupid noob. Oh, Tammy, what the hell are you doing here?
Oh, I've made up my mind to join the Anarchs. Really? You make it hard to sell, but yeah, I've made up my mind. I'm yeah, going in. But I'm not here, so look. Do I even have to say at this point I'll kick your ass? In your own way, you're quite the charmer, damsel. Not really. Go on in. All right. Go on in. Huh? Can't open the door for some reason. That's kind of weird. Oh, here's the door. Uh. Oh, oh, never mind. This is the serial killer room. I was like, whoa, what? Why is, why is there blood on the wall? Oh, it's probably behind there. Duh. Rumor is you killed me. I'm sorry, I couldn't clear your name yet, but I knew you'd make it in here in one piece. Hell, you get out of the park alive. Quite a feat, kid. I thought you were dead. That werewolf had you. Can't say I got out without a scratch. Hell of a brawl, though. Unfortunately, we don't have time to swap war stories. We were set up, kid. Someone tried to get rid of us, and the list of suspects is short. LaCroix or Zhao? We've got to kill both Damn of them. Straight. I'll rip LaCroix's head off, I'll Good. drain Zhao of everything. Right, here's what's going on. I've already sent the troops out to raise hell all over the city. The Kuei Jin think we're busy with the camp, so they won't be expecting an attack. You know what's gotta be done, right? Say no more, Zhao's, Zhao's dead. Zhao's been in L.A. for too many nights. Make tonight her last. I'll kill Zhao. Kill all of them. An army of corpses will line my path. Once Zhao's out of the way, head to LaCroix's tower. You oust LaCroix, you'll be a hero in this city. I'm counting on you. They'll rain pieces of LaCroix all over downtown tonight. Isaac's guaranteed me nobody's getting into Hollywood. I'll survive, but I wish I could be fighting at your side. This one's for LA, kid. No pressure. Nothing I can't handle. See you, Nines. Time to get the hell out of here, go find LaCroix and Zhao, and just shove a katana into their throats and drag it sideways so their head comes off and blood squirts out like a fountain. Kind of like a soda fountain, you know what I mean? With all those different flavors and stuff you can mix together to create one perfect drink, which is tasty, delicious, and everything you would enjoy in a drink. Don't you agree? I, too. I need to buy blood, so take me to the hospital so I can talk to the crazy ghoul. Need a fix? Yes, I do, good sir. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to buy a lot of Elder Vitae. Actually, I'll only buy two because I'm poor. And I want to save some money for weapons and stuff. I need weapons. Take me to Mercurio's. Oh, that's a weird glitch. Look at my head. you turned your back on the Camarilla. I don't understand. I served these people for 30 years. If you're smart, you'll switch sides too. Now let me buy some guns. Please. Thank you for your help, though, Mercurio. Let's see here. What could I use to pwn these noobs? A spaz, body armor, ammo, flamethrower. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need that flamethrower. Everybody needs a flamethrower when they're fighting undead creatures which are weak against fire. Don't you agree? Yes, I do agree. Well, maybe I do in my head because nobody's here to talk to me, but you know, still, it makes perfect sense as long as you don't think about it, good people. As long as you don't think about it. So, yeah, let's buy us a flamethrower. Now that we got the flamethrower, I'm just gonna sell everything I don't need though for money. You know. And we're ready for war. This is gonna be fun. Oh, so fun. Just imagine all those burnt bodies. Where to? I'm ready to head to Chinatown. Let's do this in a weird glitch. My head's sticking out of the car. <laughs> and now it's talking about blood loss. Woohoo! Losing blood because, you know, we haven't fed. Or something like that. I don't care. It keeps my body alive because I'm awesome. Yeah, loading screens. Ooh. So, yeah, let's do this. Okay. Stupid wannabe Quajin noobs. I need blood, by the way. Let's get over here. Mmm, your blood is tasty. It reminds me of my childhood, actually. And now that I have a sword, I'm gonna slash you up, bro. Actually, I've always had one, I just didn't use it, so haha. -ha. Pick up a katana and go into this place. What's wrong, Zhao? You hiding in the very back now? Coward. That's fine with me, though. I'll just pwn you, like I pwn all these other noobs. Ah, I have the serpent and feed equal good amount of kills. Though they do hit like a turkey baster. Anyway, this part's almost over, so I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.